Brick, what you got there? Look! What is that thing? I don't know, but it's so cute. Holy moly, this thing is crazy. It's like a little alien slug. Look at it! Look at his face. His face looks like a hippopotamus face. Oh my gosh. I have no idea what this thing is. Hopefully you guys know what it is. Comment below if you guys can identify what this is. And we watch. I have no idea. It swims. He's got like little wings, yeah, doesn't he? Yeah, he has wings. What the? There's like an extreme current right now, so I don't really want to like... We just... found him washed up on the beach. Yeah, he was on the beach. We put him back in the water because he's just... I don't know. Look at him! <gasps> Would you say he's a sea slug or... Oh, gosh. Oh, look, look, oh, look, look he's swimming, he's swimming. <laughs> oh. Look at him swim! Damn. That's pretty cool. I've seen these before. I live on the water and I've seen these before in my canal, but they are pitch black. And when you touch them, they let out purple ink. See, this is how I found him. He was washed up on the beach. Uh-oh. I don't know what's wrong with this guy. He can't make it. But I've never seen a light brown one like this. Maybe because it's a baby, no. possibly? I don't yeah. know. But they swim uh, like that. He, he swims they're like, like a squid would. They're called like sea slugs or something. Something bad. I forget. Hold on. He is literally sucked onto my two fingers right now. The current right here in this little trough is raging. And he just sucked onto my fingers. <laughs> he's trying to eat you. I don't know, but he just sucked onto my finger. He's trying to eat you. Look! Now he's only holding on by a little bit, but he's still holding on. You never know what you're going to find at the beach. No. So I keep letting him go in this trough, but he keeps washing up onto the beach. So I'm gonna walk him out a little bit, so then I can let him go, so then he doesn't get washed up on the beach. Cause it's low tide right now. Go. Bye little sea slug. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> here comes the wave. He is stuck to my finger. Look at that. He doesn't want to let go. They mix they are so camouflaged, you would never know. They look exactly like the seaweed in here. That's crazy. So when we had first got to the beach, or like, what, five hours ago, I had seen these things on the beach, but the seaweed here is so weird. So I didn't think it was a sea slug, but now that we just found that live one, I came up to one of the things I had seen earlier, and I touched it, and it moves. So it almost seems like it's still alive. But this is definitely one of those sea slugs. I wonder if they're so, I'm gonna put it in the water to see if it lives. And look, right here, there's another one. This one's not really moving as much. But we'll see, we'll put them in the water and see if it lives or not. Look, look, look. I had said that they leave black ink. This one definitely looks like it is leaving some ink. You see that? Or whatever that is. So they might still be alive. I don't know, they've been out of the water for how long has low tide been? Like at least five hours that we've been here and they've, I've seen them out of the water, so who knows how long they've been up on the beach. It's weird. You guys think we should do a catch and cook with this crazy alien creature? Comment below. I don't know, they might be good to eat. It might be some kind of crazy delicacy that we don't even know about. They swim like bats underwater. They do. But I wonder why there's so many dead ones washed up on the beach. I wonder if it's like a spawning thing, kind of like salmon where they kill themselves. I don't know. But this one is dried up. I don't think he's gonna live. Look right here. Another one? Oh yeah, there's another one right there. It's gotta be some kind of spawning ritual or I don't know. Just in this little stretch of beach, me and Brooke have found probably already 10 of these guys. Oh my gosh. Literally hundreds. Another one. I don't know. Jeez. Put them in my hands. And to think these guys have been here all day and we never even noticed them. We have gone, what, 20 feet and we've found this many already? I don't know if they're like spawning, like what they're doing right now, but they are all over the beach. God, they're leaping down my legs. Alright, so I don't know if these guys are going to live or not, but they're letting ink go in my hands, so I'm assuming they might be alive, but I'm going to let them go. Alright, 
So if you guys have seen those crazy creatures before, let us know if you've seen them before. If you know what they are, let us know what you think they are or if you know what they are. I've seen them before, but... What I want to know is why the hell... I mean, you've seen them in your canal. I've seen them in my canal, but they're big and they're just black. These are brown and they're small and they're all over the beach. Yeah, that's what I want to know is why the hell is there just... In a 20 foot span, we must have found 25. Yeah. Why is there so many washed up on the beach? And I guarantee you if we kept walking north and south, we would have found thousands. Why is there so many washing up on the beach? That was just very bizarre. So maybe you guys could fill us in. Maybe that's like some weird spawning ritual, like yeah. and salmon swim up river and then they just die. So maybe that's or what Or if when the tide comes in, if they're gonna end up living, I or don't know. yeah, maybe they that. Might. Maybe the tide will come back, and then they'll just rehydrate and swim back out. I don't know. We don't know, you guys. That's what you guys are there for. That's what all these subscribers are here for. So you guys can educate us, as sometimes I can educate you. So until that next video, guys, stay salty, my friends, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> there you go.